gospel music is kind of tough to play because not too many people seem to be doing it these days in favor of other more church-centered or congregation-centered songs. So I'm gonna show you today five cliche gospel chords you must know. Let's discuss. My name is Chris Moses, and this is Gospel Progressions University, where I'm here to help you and equip you as a church musician. We're going to talk about five cliches that you must know in order to play gospel music, if you're going to play gospel, right? The first one we can look at is replacement of the uh, two chord. So we have, and for example, the key of A flat, we have the two chord would be B flat. One is A flat, two is B flat. Three, four, five, six, seven. So instead of doing a two five one, as in minor two, major uh, five, and a major one, it's this chord here. So what you do, instead of making the two minor, which it normally is, it's going to be dominant. You could either do a diminished chord or just make it a dominant chord. Two, five, and one. But what ends up happening is that you play this chord here to replace the two all entirely. It acts as a two chord without the B flat or without the two there. Two, five, five chord, and one. You'll hear that all over gospel. We can feel this This cliche chord progression, it's a five chord. It acts as a five chord. Like for example, if we were in a key of C, uh, we have of course the one, two, three, four, five, five, and we would go to one. But instead of just playing it just five here, we're gonna alter it or change it. And it's gonna be a dominant chord. So instead of it being just a plain old dominant chord, we're gonna alter it, change it. It's referring to it as a seventh chord. We'll take the seventh, move it down here. And now we're going to change some things like the fifth, one, three, five, and the nine here, and raise it up. And then we go from the five chord, new five chord, to alter to change five chord to a one chord. That's in gospel all over. <laughs> I, I hate to say all over, all over, all the time, but these truly are chords that you'll constantly see come up again and again. Uh, another one here. Uh, is in the key of, say it's, you go to B flat. This is another altered chord where it's changed. Uh, it's, I've been playing it uh, rootless right now. There's no root there, but I'll add the root and play it like this. It's an F, B flat, A, D flat, B flat, A flat. It's uh, F7 chord that's altered and changed. So we have the seven, you bring it, the F down here, bring the flat or dominant seven here. We have the third here. We can take out that F, take out that E flat, keep that third. So we have this voicing here. And now we can, you know, use these other fingers and extend. And uh, instead of just playing, we have the five, raise it up a half step, go back to the three. We have the seven, so we have this so far. Three, a raised uh, fifth. Okay, and then we can go play the seven. We can do the same thing with the nine. After we pass seven, eight, Nine, we raise that up a half step. Now we have an F7 alt, altered chord that will take us to normally, or we can use it to as a five chord to go to B flat minor or to B flat dominant. That is all of a gospel. That's another chord that you would use. So for the third chord, unfortunately, I don't have any neat examples to show you. Uh, it's all over gospel, and it's crazy that, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't find it for some reason, but you can use it just about anywhere because it's just two chords. And this is a must for gospel. This defines gospel. If you don't play this, and if you're playing in church, at some point, you got to play this. So your major two or major one to your minor two. Major one, minor two, major one, minor 
two. All right. And or if you have a minor chord, your minor one to a minor two. Minor one. The second chord is going to be. This doesn't actually make up a scale. It's from something else, but it's beyond the scope of of this video. So that's your major or minor one, minor two, or your major one and minor two. In reality, I would kind of call this a two five one four of four progression, but don't want to confuse you. So it's very simple. You're going to start from the G in the key of C. So instead of playing G major, you're going to play it as a minor, but you're not going to play it like this. What you almost always want to do is take these two notes and keep them together. So you have your, your um, nine, right? Of the chord, you have your minor of the chord. Okay. Then you have your seven and then you have your five. So seven, nine, or I'm sorry, seven, right, nine, yes, and your minor three and your five. And then you have G minor nine. You go from here, two of F, and then you go to the two of F, which is the five of C, the one of C, all right, and, uh, which is C, of course, but then you move your thumb down, so it's, and then you go now to F, the four of C and the one of F. And you just take your, uh, your index finger, your your middle finger, and pinky, and complete this major nine chord. So you rather start here, go here, and I forgot something. And then you could actually keep going with this, all right? So that's why I said it's a four, because one, two, three, four in the key of F would be B flat. But it's important to realize that this is just will keep cycling. So this is something you've heard before. Chord progression you can use anytime you want. You don't have to, you know, have a groove like that. You can use it and leave out the B flat if you want it to go to the B flat as you walk down. If you want to go to uh back around again, you can just do five, one, and end there. And I can't tell. progression number five this must know chord progression is all over gospel music you got to get this under your belt it's if you're playing any music from the 90s and even some newer or older congregational music it's going to have this in it almost nine times out of ten so it's a movement that goes from the two to the five and we're going to go f minor right we're going to use this uh second inversion yeah second inversion here and yeah one two right so we're here and then we're going to go or we can do this, but I'd rather do this. C F minor over D, E diminished seven, and then we could do a diminished seven here over the F, and then go back to your C over G. A simpler way would just be to take out the diminished and just go F minor, uh, be E diminished in this case, E diminished seven, and then F minor again, F minor over D. that one over the five in gospel is a lot of places that you can go with this so it's important to have this have it five gospel chord progressions five cliche gospel chord progressions that you need to have under your belt if you want to extend your vocabulary on this you want to be able to develop your hearing and this is what i had to do myself to learn these things by ear before youtube and all this other great stuff that we have now i had to rewind tapes and cds and listen to them over and over again but it taught me ear skills ear training skills 
So if you want to learn how to use your ears to hear things that aren't familiar to you, check out my free guide. It's over at gospelprogressionsuniversity.com forward slash gospel keys pro. And the name of the guide is what do pros know that you don't? And it's a free guide. So check that out. I'll leave the link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.